captain's log. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. And my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... Chuck, I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. <laughs> Blast me your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. Chuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! 
You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved. Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, how romantic. Ship ahoy! Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood. By my gangrenous gut, I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned. But you won't escape the taste of my blade! <laughs> has spirit Throw him in the hold. I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boats! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. Get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Hello, friends. My name is Kate Shirk, and welcome to Monkey Island 3, or the Curse of Monkey Island, Blast whichever. Blast scurvy dogs! All right, you. So, um... This'll make you rue the day! You're gonna bug me. Um, however, this is supposed to be the one of the best games in the series, uh, from what I've been told, or what I've read. You need to shut the hell up. Um, but, I'm not gonna waste time, uh... Okay. Let's figure this out. Balloon? You want a balloon? With... I don't think he'd like that. Well, how do I? Can I? Stay away. Um. <laughs> Aren't you a little short for a pirate? Hold your tongue, Captain, or I'll be holding it for ya. Wait, yeah, right? Are you wearing a big beard? Is that hook for real? Is that a real eye patch? Can uh, I borrow your cannon for a second? No, you scheming scalawag! You scrappy scofflaw! You steaming souffle! Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? Wally. It's Guybrush Threepwood! Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. Oh! The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with a ship of the living dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audio books on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. I I'm good. Uh... Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. This oh. leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. Tell me about these seminars. The I, seminars I, really brought things into focus. You don't know how empowering it is to be able to say to yourself, yes, I am a despicable, filthy, villainous pirate, deserving blame and censure, but that pirate is who I want to be. Everyone was really very supportive. We had this great feeling of synergy. Then LeChuck kicked down the door and said, you lazy scum, get back to work. Or I'll beat you with your own legs. Tell me about these motivational lectures. Well, they weren't lectures as such. It was what LeChuck described as flogging the inner child. Okay. Tell me about these audiobooks. To become a pirate, the audiobooks on parrot are the key. You get a set of 12 parrots. 
one a month. Twelve. Return as many as you like. Keep them all and live. They teach you to talk just like a pirate. All the key phrases are in there. Blow the man down. Shiver Yo, me oh. timbers. Who's a pretty bird? All the <laughs> phrases a pirate needs to command respect on the high seas. Did he happen to say hat? <laughs> uh... Uh, what are Lechuk's plans? He's been working on a secret weapon. Some incredibly powerful cannonball. He's going to use voodoo. it to blow down the walls of the fort. So his crew can overrun the island. Okay. Set me free, Wally. I can't, Mr. Brush. I'm the evil Mr. pirate Brush. blood nose now. Blood Besides, nose. Do you want a bloody nose? Up on deck, Lechuk would cut you to ribbons. Uh, what's behind that door? Ooh, that's the door to Lechuk's treasure hold. There's heaps and piles of gold and silver. He's brought all the loot he's ever stolen to give to Elaine. Lechuk is convinced that he can buy Elaine's love. Hmm. Snap out of it, Wally. That's blood nose to you, you scurvy sea bass. Uh. It's been uh, swell talking to you. Okay, so can we get out that way? I can't quite squeeze past this cannon. Move out of the way! I can't fire that cannon with you standing there! Uh, okay, so we'll go back in since... See if you can take this. Shut up. Um, I'll okay. reduce your fort to rubble. Turn it. Oh, okay. I feel like I could take on the world. Uh, you, ah. the port, your doom be at hand. I... I see a diorama of the children of the world living in peace and freedom. What? No, wait. It can't be that. It's just too dark to make out what's in there. Well, that's lovely. Can we... Nice cannonballs. Somehow... Looks like a ramrod for the cannon. Can I... Ooh! It's the restraining rope for the cannon. Can I... Nope. Um... I never untie that big enough. Can I... Grab? What's... Stand back! You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish! One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in! Peep! <laughs> Just go ahead and shoot. That's it! I'm gonna blast you! I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm, I can't do it! I just can't! <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Ah! Poked his eye. Oh, well, there, there. Okay, can we... Um... Pick up? Um... <laughs> Oh, well, there we go. I don't want to slap the little guy around. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, let's see. Can we... I never have been any good at lockpicking, but I am still a mighty pirate, believe you me. <laughs> Can we use it with that? Hooking the rope won't do anything. <laughs> Uh 
Oh, I still can't get out that way, can you? Um. That's a neat old trick. And I missed. <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah, my bad. That's actually a lot of fun. Uh, oh, that's fun. This is a lot of fun. I'm getting pretty good at this. That was a lot of fun. I, I like that feature. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs> oh. Uh. Can I call you Bob? <laughs> Lose something. I am Murray, the invincible demonic skull. Quake in fear, mortal. For your insolence, I shall now devour you. Uh-huh. Could you... Uh, uh, could you pick me up so I can bite you? No. I just thought I'd ask. <laughs> you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. <laughs> okay. You know, you look great with a melting candle on your forehead. I get the feeling you're not taking me very seriously. No, I am, really. Really? Then let me hear you scream in terror. I'm too petrified, I'm petrified to, to say, say anything. anything. Yep. <laughs> uh, Can I call you Bob? You may call me Murray. I am a powerful demonic force. I am the harbinger of your doom. And the forces of darkness will applaud me as I stride through the gates of hell, carrying your head on a pike. Stride? All right, then roll. Roll through the gates of hell. Must you take the fun out of everything? Uh... Why do you villains always laugh so much? I wasn't laughing about anything in particular. Somewhere there's a fish nibbling on my foot and it really tickles. <laughs> You're about as fearsome as a doorstop. Is it a really evil-looking doorstop? Uh, never mind. Uh... I'm going now. Good. Now, leave me alone. I have a lot of scheming and evil plotting to do. <laughs> I can't reach that far. Uh, well, they messed with the wrong skull this time. <laughs> no. Well, I tried that earlier and nothing happened. They're too heavy to carry. Okay. Okay, so let's. If I could just get my hands on that gunner. If I could just get my hands, period. It's... That will reach it, but it can't catch hold. Ooh, I have an idea. Uh, use my. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to look on the bright side of this. Oh, cool. Hey, that's my arm. Give that back. I'm good. <laughs> okay, so I want the cutlass, yeah? The door's too strong for the cutlass to cut through. Oh, but I can use it on the rope. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Taste cold steel, people can't restraint rope. <laughs> okay, so, um... Now, with the demon oh. flames of this voodoo He's cannonball, the... I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world! <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Neptune's navel! That was a close one! <laughs> Hey, a 
lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. The bear's too big to carry around, and the sword's a fake plastic one. Yeah. Ugh, that stuff is disgusting. Even for a pirate. Marry me or die. It got broken when the ship capsized. Uh, but... No self-respecting pirate would be seen wearing that. Record collection. Now my hi-fi is broken, and it's impossible to find a quadraphonic needle anywhere in the Caribbean. No, champagne makes me all giggly. I see more than enough of him already. Uh, let's see. Let's see if there's anything else. I don't know. That seems kind of creepy. Home appliances. I have no place to plug him in. I'm just, what's this? Uh, it's bad luck to grab booty under a ladder. Oh. Uh, it's bad luck to grab booty under a ladder. I mean, is it? <laughs> it's a bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. Oh. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. Well, I will use that big diamond ring. Because the ship is capsized, this ladder goes to nowhere. How could it go to nowhere? Can I not... Can I move the ladder? How do we get out? That's the real question. Is there a way out? Because I can get out through that hole. So. Ring. Use a big diamond to cut the glass. Duh. Well, that was stupid. And you did need the flotation device. Hey, Guy babe. brush? Guy brush! I thought I'd lost you forever. Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. Yes. Um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guy brush. I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who can hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy brush, me. stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guy Brush. <laughs> eyebrows. Oh. Wally? You're alive! But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it. Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, I gotta be going. I hear there's a tattoo ring <laughs> on this island that's freckle safe. See you at the wedding. Guybrush! Uh... Oh no, Elaine, oh, she's not going to be happy about this. <laughs> How do we... Hold on. Alright, so that <laughs> was part one of The Curse of Monkey Island. I really like this one so far. I like that it's a lot more interactive, that you got to use the cannon. I love this cartoon style. Um, I think... I, I don't know. I actually... So far, this is my favorite one, and I've only been playing it for like ten minutes. Maybe. But, um... Uh, so I am going to leave this first episode off here and I will come and pick it up back up uh, later and we will continue on with the story. Um, I am loving it so far. I am so glad I decided to do the series just for this one alone. Um, but... 
thank you all so much for watching this episode. Be sure to jump down on that like button if you did like it. Leave a comment down below with any other game suggestions or video ideas that you'd like to see from me. Share this channel with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already to see other videos that I've done. We'll see you all for the next one. True friendship and adventure are what we can't live without. And when you're a professional pirate, that's what the job's about. Upstage, lads!